Hello, 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 and welcome back to Gotland in Minecraft City, population one. And guess what? It's raining again, still. Uh, we're down here, still out outside of the city. It's episode 28, and today it's called Banging Power. Yeah, that's right, Banging Power. Well, why is it called Banging Power? Well, because we start this week's update with some big bangs as you can see I'm currently busy laying down uh, what I would consider a fairly moderate amount of TNT the good thing about just being outside the town is that I don't have to mine everything and demolish everything carefully I can just go wild with the TNT and just blow this whole place sky high it's nothing worse than kind of demolishing a tree oh, it just takes ages and ages so this is quite good and you get to watch a big explosion as well so yeah all good fun. So we're just going to lay some more TNT now. Uh, the power bit of banging power is that we're going to build uh, Cotlandby's uh, power station. So what have we been using so far? Well, so far we've been purchasing power from um, other countries uh, in the Minecraft world. However, due to rising uh, costs of uh, power uh, and energy, I've decided to build our own. Now, we've been doing a lot of research, haven't we? out there at Area X that we saw in last week's episode, card up above if you haven't seen that yet, and uh, the uh, kind of deep space um, crystals, we're using those uh, in a combination with the subspace power cube thing uh, to draw power from subspace for the entire city. It looks quite amazing. You'll like it, you'll like it a lot. Okay. Have we got enough dynamites? Uh, I think we probably have got enough TNT. This should get rid of all the trees quite nicely. And anything else lurking around, including any animals and things. Um, yeah, there's quite a bit there. This should go up nicely. Maybe. Let's just... Uh, there you go, nice redstone torch. And sit back and... <gasps> oh, all of them animals. All dead. Wow. Okay, that one well, no one of them survived. Look, okay, that has cleared a nice area. A little bit of uh, collateral damage there to the walkway, but nothing a few blocks of stone can't fix. Why is this still here? It's this kind of floating island of TNT. Let's blow that up. Oh, no, hold on. Hey, eh? uh, Glitch. Glitchy! Very glitchy. Okay, so clearly uh, there was a little bit of a processing glitch there. It took a while to remember it had blown up. So we've got a nice big open space here. It's reasonably flat actually isn't it uh, let's just go back and um, repair this bit of collateral damage this is going to uh, show us where we're going to start our power station so we're going to build the power station this is one of those projects where I started it and then um, I was like hmm this is a little bit ambitious uh, it's been a long time since I've played with like redstone lamps and making them do things like flash and um, well I've used a lot of uh, observer blocks in this episode uh, I didn't even know what an observer block was I, there's blocks in there now that have been added I still use the blocks that were like from like four years ago so uh, yeah there's quite a lot of observer blocks which will be nice you'll see the effects we can get and I'll be using a lot more of that kind of thing now I know they exist which is good so uh, we're going for a steel uh, or iron uh, construction because it's a power station this is a lot of power going through this power station, it's got to be safe, it's got to be secure, it's got to be built well because if it was to be broken into or blown up uh, we would have big problems not only a lack of power but potentially uh, quite a lot of damage if you're wondering what Duplo I've been building this week I've built a stick that's right, it's a rather multicoloured stick but it is a stick that was very difficult, where to put the sticky out bit took me hours hours to decide um while we're doing that i uh, will tell you what my beverage is today my beverage today is uh, well, i'm not entirely sure what it is i think it's vi vive zx cherry cola zero sugar free thing um it's like a it's like a cherry coke ripoff i think um my wife bought it from a shop i assume in one of the discount supermarkets does it taste like cherry cola? Uh, no, it tastes like... Um, well, I don't know what like goat wee tastes like, because I've never actually tasted goat wee. Uh, if you have, please 
um, let me know what it tastes like in the comments but I imagine it tastes something like Vive ZX Cherry Cola Zero uh, sugar free which is what I'm currently drinking but it is what I've gone with so I'm gonna finish drinking it mmm horrific okay so as you can see now this is the kind of like what we would consider a turbine hall and a traditional power station you've got like a big open space where you get all the turbines basically the um, the uh, action part of a power station they usually have like some offices and a control room and then you've got like the big turbine hall where well where, where the turbines are so uh, in a traditional power station you would take uh, some water you would get it hot and boil it to make steam you use the steam to drive a turbine like an engine on a plane and as that turned you'd use that to create uh, electricity very quite simple uh, but at the same time has to be uh, very well managed um, this is my turbine hall but we're not doing that we're using dark matter from subspace and space crystals so we are designing our power station slightly differently uh, to what you would expect elsewhere uh, I noticed there we've got some sheeps that have uh, wandered into the area hello sheeps how are you what do you think to the new power station hmm oh you're a bit upset that your entire family was killed when I blew up all the land well I'm sorry about that but you know progress and everything um, you survive what you're moaning about right so let's carry on building this and um, see where we get to uh, I'm not gonna I'm not going to show this entire build because it l literally took me a long time. I mean, my fingers are, are just wearing out. I'm playing Minecraft so much at the moment. I'm loving it. It's great. But it's, uh, yeah, it's quite a lot of tapping. Uh, so I'm putting like this huge frame over. Uh, it's like a containment frame. Stop it blowing up. And um, that's in the kind of like yellow, orange, concrete. And there's that yellow or orange, one of the two. At the bottom there, I was originally going to fill it with water, but I felt be uh, I thought better than that, and I, I changed what I was doing after that, um, and I, I just left it so you could like walk on it and stuff. So it's quite cool, and uh, yeah, this is it. It's been quite nice building this actually. I've enjoyed it. Uh, this area, I'm going to build some more stuff in over the next uh, few episodes. So I've got like a skydive thing going in, and then maybe a prison as well because I need a prison desperately need a prison so um there we go i mean look at that that looks kind of cool 3d printing this week i've printed big ben Ta -da! it's not big it's about five inches so it's kind of little ben but pretty cool okay right so let's uh, go from where we left off last episode which was at um area x station right out at the end of the map this one of the things that i kind of did that i wasn't planning on doing was i've had to build another underground station so i wasn't actually going to connect this to the underground but then i realized that the airport was quite close but that's the airport station you don't want that sharing you with that connection with a power station and then uh, the farm station which is this one here is actually quite far away from the power station as well so where i've built the power station is on the way out of town just past the airport but way way before the farm and like the secret government area x so i thought it actually warranted a new station and that new station is going to come into use for the other stuff i'm going to put around it as well so the prison the skydiving thing and then um i've got a few other ideas i may kind of cluster them around here like a little bit of an uh, out of uh, town area there's no horseway coming here so far though so i'm going to have to extend the horseway and the boat ways are nowhere near this side of the map so I might actually put the first boat way in but that means I'm gonna to have to level it all the way from the other side of the map so that'll take me like 10,000 billion years so here we are at the new station now this new station complements the power station design quite nicely so again you're coming in it's got this yellow um, concrete there that you see in the power station you've got this fantastic iron uh, construction it is the red line so we've got the red terracotta there at the station side nice rustic um steps there which are the copper steps i'm using that quite a lot at the minute i like the copper blocks this station is quite um it's got quite a big footprint on it 
uh, it covers quite a large area coming up and then up to the power station but like I say it's going to get used by quite a lot of different things in the future so here we are uh, as we come up here let's just take an overview of what's been built around here so you can see the power station in all its glory Oops. Uh, I've got nice big uh, word power there which I've written again in uh, iron very good isn't it uh, there's a nice underground sign there I've built one of them for a while and as we go around the back you can see the size of the uh, turbine hall there or what, you know, what would be the turbine hall uh, it's got this funky construction kind of fin on the back as it were and it, it is quite a square blocky structure there's the space crystal on top um, outside in case it blows up which I'm sure it won't uh, and then the station goes underground there um, it's a deep level tube this one it's about 60 blocks down so maybe even maybe a little bit, bit maybe a bit more maybe 75 blocks but it's a nice line and it's the red line and now we've got some more stations to add to the underground map haven't we uh, let's just have a pan over it as you can see with these nice yellow windows at the front um, I'm going to landscape around the edges as well there I'm not going to leave that kind of bare rock uh, that's just nasty and uh, yeah some nice glowstones I'm going to do like a Cotlinby at night video as well uh, in which I will show you the city at night and realise just how pathetic my lighting is and how much work I have to do so let's have a tour around so you're coming in here we've got a nice reception desk Hello, welcome to Cardinal Limit Power. Like any power station or posh place, you've got a fountain in reception. It has a fountain in reception. Wow, must be posh around here. Uh, and if you are uh, just coming in to have a look what's going on, there are some observation windows. So you can uh, have a look through and see the power station working. And uh, there's a bat in there as well for some reason. I'm not sure why. Need to go kill that bat. Um... So yeah, uh, any member of the public can walk in here and, and, and have a look around. So this is the first floor. Uh, let's go through. There is a security gate here. Obviously, you know, power station, big bang. If it goes up, got to be secure. Uh, this is the back of the reception area. A reminder that Cotton B is an unfurnished city and therefore you don't see any furniture at all. It is to be placed in at some point when the population reaches more than one, which is going to be a while. Let's have a look in the uh, turbine hall then from this top level gantry. There's three gantries. This is the top level one. As you can see, uh, clearly down to the bottom there, you know, it's an inspection uh, inspection walkway that, so you can see what's going on. Right, down here, this is like the offices level. So you've got like um, conference rooms and maybe uh, meeting rooms, maybe uh, somewhere people will go to design things maybe even a lab get a nice view out there to the station again would look better with some trees wouldn't it but landscaping really uh, ain't, got to, ain't got time for that at the moment uh, just have a quick look down here these offices are quite nice actually this one's got a big window in it so it's nice and spacious feels open and this one's got like an, uh, a corner view office window as well where you can see power backwards what's power backwards Rewoop. Rewoop. Ruop, Ruop, power, Ruop, yeah that's right, Ruop. Uh, let's go down then uh, to the turbine hall and see uh, what exactly is happening here. Uh, just before that actually, uh, just show you in here, this is the control room, so again more security gates, that's where the shift manager sits. All these kind of um, slabs, these uh, polished granite things, they're all workstations. You imagine computers and stuff would go on there, that's where the staff would control the power station from and then we've got this nice big window here looking out into the power station so you can see what goes on right let's go down and take a look at exactly what's happening in the turbine hall or where the power is generated and um you can see how amazing it is so here we are this is it uh the uh, crystal on the roof absorbs sunlight uh, and uv radiation uh, and it stores it and it releases that energy uh, when an electrical current is passed through it it is then amplified by the uh, subspace uh, energy uh, through a crystal and another rock 
and then uh, it produces more energy which we shoot down into a containment chamber which is then released through these other eight pipes in pairs of two towards different parts of the city. There you go. The rods that you see on the edge there are the stabilizer rods. They are designed to absorb any excess energy which is released from the containment chamber it, which is uh, safely encased in this uh, very uh, strong toughened glass um, structure. We've got these nice little walkways here for you to walk over uh, so you can actually look around the uh, station. If you don't walk over them, if you do touch the ground, you will be incinerated. Very dangerous. And yeah, it's just really nice, isn't it? Doesn't it look good? I love that kind of grid on the roof and the fact that all these lights kind of flash and stuff. I think it's very impressive. Let's just take a moment to marvel at this uh, command block, uh, no, observer block, sorry, masterpiece. Uh, and uh, lighting and stuff. I'm quite impressed that the lighting is actually working on my iPhone. It hasn't crashed it or blown it up or melted it. And there we go, look at that. Oh, what a thing of beauty. And power to Cotton B as well. Lots of power, lots of energy for lots of buildings. Marvellous. Okay, so what about next week? Well, next week it's Sky die Cotlandby time but more than that more than that we've got ourselves a mystery haven't we yes we, we have remember remember riddle diddle diddle so next week's episode is riddle diddle diddle and we're going to uh oh, blimey source from there needs fixing we're going to have a look at the riddle we found last week and we're going to see where it takes us and what that mystery is all about. If you haven't subscribed, now is a great time to do so as we look at the space crystal on the roof. Uh, and uh, that, by the way, needs replacing roughly every 50 years. They last a long time. Very environmentally friendly, this. It's car no carbon emissions. It's good for the environment. It's fantastic. Uh, like and subscribe to the video. Comments are always welcome. Any ideas, suggestions, please put them in the comments below. And I shall see you next week for more uh, construction in Cotlandby. Ciao now.